Welcome to another What's New in the App Store. We have one new app and some notable updates to highlight. Let's go. First up, we're going to introduce you to a new app called Reference Finder. This brilliant app does just like it sounds. It finds on-shape references across multiple platforms. In this example, the designer is already connected to all platforms available today, including Trello, Slack, Confluence, Jira, and Google Drive. So if someone links to an on-shape document, or pastes the document ID, this little guy in some cases, you'll find those references compiled here. Looks like their task today is to remove a tab for the latest configuration. In Slack, the document has been linked in a conversation between Alnus and himself. Meanwhile, Confluence is being used for brainstorming ideas, Jira is being used by the EEs, and Google Drive is where additional documentation will happen. Obviously, you won't need to use all of these, so customize your Reference Finder experience to complement the way your team works. There are plans to add other connections, so give their development team some feedback on what you'd like to see next. Now, product updates, starting with SimScale. SimScale has delivered some very exciting new features since we last highlighted them. For Onshape users, the most important update is this. Associativity has been dramatically improved to support Onshape versions. This means simulation boundary conditions are retained when new versions are imported. So when this inverter case was found to bend excessively under load, the Onshape designer knew just what to do. These added ribs should increase the stiffness, and we'll use SimScale to verify this. Once the new version is imported, we can run the simulation without any additional setup, allowing us to iterate faster through the design and simulation loop. By the way, the side-by-side -side comparison is also new and fantastic. Next up, Cadasio. This team has added feature after feature consistently since their inception. I'm going to highlight just two recent but impactful enhancements starting with pop-ups. This enhancement allows the author to offer additional information to consumers as they progress through your documentation. These can be in the form of images, like showing how to properly adjust a helmet. They can embed a PDF, a video, checkbox, like to serve up a quick reminder of maintenance frequency, and finally text callouts. This enables the author to provide additional information that an animation isn't well suited for. The other big update has to do with improved aesthetics with new transitions. These new transitions include spin, push, scale, and fade. Find these on the animation tab and make sure to see the changelog to see what else is new. Another app that's seen major updates is Phi. Phi has added countless improvements and fixes since we last highlighted them. We'll touch on a couple of these, starting with the new ability to flip surfaces. If you've done any amount of surfacing work, you know how important this can be for both organization and visualization. Next, take advantage of the new ability to project entities. I don't need to tell Onshape users the value of that, you probably use it every time you sketch. In Phi, you have added controls to determine the direction and even an offset potential. Exploring design spaces just got easier with the new ability to copy faces. In the past, you would have had to copy the entire body, but now single or multiple faces can be copied with a simple copy-paste. Phi has added a quick introduction to welcome new users. You can go there at the beginning of the session, through the initial welcome window, or anytime with the I button at the top right corner. For a more detailed offering, See one of their many tutorials in the adjacent tab. Your preferred settings are now stored and persistent, and even your Onshape unit settings will carry through to your Phi work. Snapping has been simplified and improved. It was simplified by combining multiple options under one single command, and the scope of snapping was widened to include more situations. Great work once again to the Phi team. Finally, We'll end with a little teaser for our OpenBOM subscribers. OpenBOM will soon include an option to output step and STLs for every part in your document. This time-consuming task can now be automatically generated, and better yet, you can export all of these to a zip file, which naturally includes a PDF version of the bill materials. I know that you and your suppliers are going to appreciate that. Thanks to everyone for watching. Give these apps a try for your next project.